This is the Book Legion Podcast, where we review thought-provoking books to give our legionnaires the knowledge they need to dominate the next level of their life. Thanks so much for joining me this week on the Book Legion. My name is Ty Revens, and this week we're going to be covering Andy Frisella's book, 75 Hard. So first, let's start with who Andy Frisella is. Andy's someone that I've followed now for probably about four years. Um, really inspiring. He's a guy that's really intense. He kind of got cut his teeth and growing up, uh, watched his dad become a successful entrepreneur, had that instilled, but his dad didn't believe in giving anybody a head start. So Andy decided to go out with his buddy Chris and start their own super supplement store. And really the story, and, and this all relates to 75 Hard, but I want to give you context and background of who Andy Frisella is, is that Andy worked his butt off for 10 years. And so the whole start of the book is talking about uh, why he opened his business, how he thought his business was gonna go, how it really went, and the trials and tribulations he had to overcome. He also had a really traumatic thing happen to him when I believe he was about 20 years old. He was stabbed in the face, almost died, had 160 uh, stitches in his face. And I don't wanna talk about that here other than the fact that it happened because it was very important and relevant and life-changing for him in a negative, but turned into a positive way. And so he talks a lot about the book, but what the 75 hard book is really about, oh, I should actually preface too. So Andy started the super supplement store. I got off track, I uh, got ahead of myself. And then he, um, over the course of 20 years, he turned those stores into one of the largest supplement brands in the entire world. And he is the owner and founder of First Form, which is a nine figure company. So when anybody started to talk to you about how to bid, build a business, how to scale a business, what it's like to go through the trials and tribulations over 20 years of being an entrepreneur. He's one of the few guys that can say, I've done it all and I've built a nine figure business. He talks about his first 10 years in business, he took home $58,000 combined for the first 10 years. And then that kind of catapulted him, kept learning from his mistakes, kept learning from his mistakes, learning from his mistakes, and eventually started to accelerate. He jokes a lot about, you know, I'm not the smartest guy uh, in the room, but I just kept going. I just kept going, kept pivoting. So he wrote this book because he went through his own bouts of depression, through things of his face, he got to one point, you know, owning a supplement company, he was 350 pounds. He's still a pretty big guy, I think he's 6'1", 6'2", but 350 pounds is pretty big. And so he needed to do something to kind of re-engage himself. He had James Lawrence, on his program, The Iron Cowboy. If you don't know who James Lawrence is, I've already done a book review on his book, Redefine Impossible. He's the guy that did 50 um, Ironman triathlons and 50 days in a row in all 50 states. And he actually just completed the Conquer 100 where he did 100 triathlons and 100 consecutive days. Uh, completely crazy. So go check out that episode if you haven't watched it. But Andy had James Lawrence on the show. And through talking to James Lawrence about his 50-50-50, he realized that like, wow, like it, it kind of like a spark went off. Like the amount of mental toughness had to supersede what he was going through physically, um, James Lawrence. And so Andy developed this program for, I think really for himself was to help his mental toughness and to just have him get him in that flow state. So I'm just going to talk to you guys now about what 50, uh, excuse me, what 75 Hard is. So 75 Hard is a program about mental toughness, and Andy's really big on this. He thinks this, our society is weak. He talks a lot on his podcast, The Real AF, Real as Fuck, um, if you didn't pick that up. So he talks a lot about mental toughness and the way that society is just become soft, lazy, weak, mediocre, and average, right? And you're kind of, you are seeing the degradation of a great empire with America, um, unfortunately, I don't know if it's because of mental toughness or what it is, uh, the deflation of the dollar could be a lot of different things, but he sees it as a decline of our society and he, and he puts a lot of that because of the generations coming up aren't mentally as strong as say like his father's generation, my father's generation, you know, the baby boomers. So he talks a lot about this. And so he created this program to really help people be able to implement strategies and learn what mental toughness is. And so Really, there's five components. And so what's great about the book, he kind of, the first part, he runs through his whole story, how he got to where he's at, how he got to the 75 Hard program. And then the rest of the book is spent talking about what the 75 Hard program is. And he takes each component and he breaks it out, why it's important and why he chose that component and why it's beneficial to you to do it. So I'm not gonna talk about my favorite three sections. I'm just gonna cover what all five components are and then kind of give you my view on it. 
So the first component is you gotta do two workouts a day for 75 days in a row, no rest days. One workout has to be inside, uh, one workout has to be outside, irrespective unless there's like a lightning storm or something super crazy. One workout inside, one workout outside, and they have to be three hours apart at minimum, so no back-to-back -back workouts, and they have to be at least 45 minutes, right? So double day workouts for 75 days straight. You have to be no cheat meals. You have to follow a diet plan, and he actually gives you his whole um, diet plan, what he ate on the 75 hard um, journey when he did it himself. So you have to follow uh, a diet plan, no cheat meals, no alcohol, no nothing. You have to be able to drink a gallon of water a day. You have to take a progress picture a day. And you have to read 10 pages in a book. That's it, right? And you hear it, when the first time I heard it, I was like, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, the double day workouts would be kind of a pain in the ass, but I'm, you know, I've been an athlete my whole life, I can do double day workouts. But the key is one bite of cookie, one drink of alcohol, one sip of wine, one forgotten missed picture, anything that you deviate from the plan, you fuck up one day, you gotta start over. So you cannot miss, there is no cheating, there is no missing any component of any of the 75 days or you have to start over. And lots of people started over. Um, I've actually completed it twice. I did it two years ago, I did it last year, and I'm doing it right now, and I'll be 100% transparent with you. The first two times, that from day one to day 75, went through, I didn't miss anything. Uh, this last time, I started last week, Something came up, um, had a beer, boom, how to start over. And then it went out uh, on uh, a work thing, totally forgot to take my picture, boom, how to start over, right? So now I'm on day five of my third go around, but I'll tell you, having done it myself, it is by far the most transformational thing I've ever done. And why I continue to do it once a year is because it, it makes me better for the long jump in my life every time. You know, I was always someone that was an avid reader, but I had never been someone, and I was someone who's always been an avid gym goer. I'm usually in the gym six days a week as it is. But having doing the double days, I actually really started to enjoy it. So now I incorporate double days on a weekly basis, usually two or three times a week I'll do a double day, just throwing some extra cardio. So for me, you know, it, obviously you're gonna lose weight, obviously you're gonna get in really great shape, which I did both times. I was in phenomenal shape. I dropped about 15 pounds both times. Um, but it was really about, it, for me, it just like opened up, I was in a flow state. I felt better mentally. I felt like I was tackling work better. My relationships were better. I feel like my, even my finance game was better. I had a lot more clarity, I had a lot more creativity. And that was through discipline. And I think that this is, the, the whole principle of this is kind of what Jocko talks about, right? Discipline equals freedom. And the more disciplined, regimented, and structured I got, the more I was able to accomplish in the same amount of time. And so that was really the beauty of the journey for me and what the 75 Hard program um, offered me. And so the book really, what I loved about the book was, it you know, it's not a very long book. It's what, 130, 140 pages, something around there. But Andy breaks down why each section is really important. Uh, the book is only like 15 bucks. You can buy it off his website, andyfrisella.com. You can also go check out 75hard.com too if you're interested in doing it. And since the 75 Hard program, they've actually now um, invented phase one, phase two, and phase three, all which are 30 days. So you can continue to take it to the next level. Like phase one is all the 75 Hard stuff, plus uh, taking a, cold, a two minute cold shower and something else, I forget what it is. Um, I have never done the phases, so uh, I don't know them. Uh, but I, I think this time around, you know, I at least wanna do phase one after the 75 hard. So I highly recommend the book. Um, if you're looking for something to get you to the next level, I was thinking a lot about this quote today. What got you here won't get you there. So if you're someone that's ambitious, you have goals, but you feel like you're having problem tracking towards the goals, implement this program, try it. Not only will you benefit from it physically, but you will spiritually, mentally. I mean, I've had people, I actually it was really random. I was talking to a client the other day and he was in the program and he brought it up to me, not knowing I'd ever done it. And he was like, man, I haven't read a book since college and I've read six since being on this program. He's like, it's really transformed. And, and he was down 20 pounds, transformed thousands and thousands of people's lives now. Um, I've seen really beautiful stories of people doing it um, to honor a, a parent that has passed away and they finished the 75 day, you know, at their mother's um, grave site. I mean, just really things that are powerful. I've heard people talk about, you know, really like athletes like James Lawrence that have done triathlons, have done marathons, that are like, it's one of the toughest things I've ever done because you can't fucking miss. If you do anything wrong, you step out on anything, you gotta start over. Um, so anyway, 
I highly recommend reading the book because the book will be a precursor to actually doing the program or you can start the program while you're reading the book. It might, might be also beneficial as well. Um, I'll post a link to the book um, in uh, the show notes. You guys can scroll right down go right to it. If you're someone who doesn't follow Andy Frisella, I'm going to tell you he's not for everybody. I love him. I'm an intense dude. Uh, if you're easily offended by someone saying fuck, don't listen to him because it's every other word out of his mouth. But if you want to listen to somebody who knows how to scale a business, want, can talk to you about mental toughness, how to overcome depression because he talks about how he's dealt with severe depression, someone who's been morbidly obese and cut it down, now the guy's jacked. I mean, he's really gone through a lot and so you get a lot out of the program but you get a lot out of actually following Andy too. If you can get around the rough edges, which again, I really enjoy because he's super authentic and it's very rare these days in that influencer space where people are completely themselves and they don't give a fuck while running a nine figure company, which is super impressive. Um, so check it out, 75 Hard. Um, if you guys haven't done so, please subscribe to the podcast. Uh, drop me a five-star review. It makes it easier for other people to be able to find the podcast. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention about a- Andy Forsella, he's one of the guys that founded the Arte Group with Ed Milet. Ed Milet. I'm randomly actually wearing an Ed Milet shirt. So they have a group called the Arte Group, um, the Arte Syndicate, excuse me. I am also in the Arte Syndicate. It's a little pricey, but you get mentored by Andy and Ed. And if you don't know who Ed Milet is, Got a book review on him, on his book, Max Out. Um, Ed Milet is worth nine figures as well. He's worth about six, seven hundred million. He made his through the financial services. So if you're interested and you have the resources, I would highly recommend checking out um, Arte Syndicate. It's been life-changing for me, uh, being mentored by those people, uh, those two in particular weekly. So thanks so much for listening. See you guys later. Thank you.